Hi folks, it's been a while since I posted a video. Um, I hope you like this one. So one of my favorite planes I've ever made was a little plane I did about three years ago called Zippy. Um, I made it just for fun flying in the evenings, line of sight flying, uh, but it was also light enough that I could use it for slope soaring and um, I ended up putting a really big motor on it and getting it going really fast which was very fun but now this plane sadly is dead and uh, I decided to build a replacement uh, which is here Zippy 2.0 I'm calling it and one of the goals of this plane was to build it out of all balsa and other kinds of wood and foam and fiberglass instead of foam board and that meant that it ended up being um, nearly twice the weight of the original Zippy plane, but other than that, it's worked out pretty well. I always start out with making the wing, and I used a kind of hot wire cutting called fixed point or fixed pivot hot wire cutting, uh, which is nice in that you only need to have one airfoil template. And then because the other end of your wire, in my case, uh, five feet away, is fixed, it uh, produces a cut on one side that is basically a miniature version of this primary end template uh, cut. So here's a picture of that fixed pivot point uh, which is anchored to my desktop. And this is uh, looking down the uh, foam core with the actual wing cut out of it showing that the wing is tapered in all dimensions. And this is the, uh, the end cord, which is only five and a half inches uh, long uh, compared to a nine inch root cord. And this is what one of the wing halves looks like when it's uh, right, right after being cut. So here's the wing, uh, left and right sides cut. And um, it took uh, a couple of tries to get a right wing that was symmetrical with my original good left wing and I glued these together and then I added a five millimeter carbon spar right here and cut ailerons um, these ailerons are cut out of um, uh, 3 16 balsa and I also cut out of block balsa some uh, wing caps and added as well some um, half inch balsa stock material uh, for the actual uh, wing bolts or for the for the bolts that would hold the wing on the fuselage. This is a close up of one of those wing tips, balsa wing tips, shaped after I glued it on uh, with uh, various grits of sanding paper to make it blend into the wing nicely. Then it was time to uh, fiberglass and epoxy the wing. And the fiberglass that I was using was 20 ounce, uh, sorry, no, that's not right, <laughs> 20 gram or one quarter ounce uh, fiberglass cloth. And the epoxy I'm using is Z-epoxy thinned with a bit of denatured alcohol here, which is a technique I've covered in other videos. This is the second coating of epoxy. And I find that with, um, with this technique, I only need actually two coats of epoxy, uh, especially considering I'm, I'm also going to, right after this, uh, prime the wing, uh, sp uh, spray on primer. So as you can see right here, and I actually end up doing two or three coats on the whole plane of this spray on primer and sanding with uh, 300 to 400 grit sandpaper in between to make it as smooth as I can get it. Then it was time to move on to cutting out the fuselage pieces from balsa. And I am a beginner when it comes to working with balsa. And one of the biggest mistakes I made was not to actually build an internal frame and then use balsa strips to cover that. If I ever build Zippy 3.0, I will definitely do that. I will, I will try my best to use more advanced balsa techniques, um, which would almost certainly end up with a stronger and lighter airframe. But the sides of my fuselage are 1 8 balsa. And the bottom of my uh, fuselage is 3 16 And I, I cut out little bulkhead pieces here to hold the whole thing together. 
Um, so this is me gluing that together. And I had to make sure regularly that the, uh, that the wing was going to fit well into the saddle that I cut into the sides of the fuselage. And then it was time to make the tail planes, uh, horizontal pl uh, stabilizer and vertical stabilizer. And this is me gluing those with uh, thin CA glue onto the rest of the uh, frame. The vertical stabilizer, I actually um, cut through the horizontal stabilizer and through the bottom of the plane and glued it at both points to make it strong. This is the saddle for the wing, the mounting location of the wing. I ended up using uh, a couple extra pieces of 1 8 inch uh, balsa to strengthen the side walls. And then I uh, sanded these flat and covered them with uh, glue-on felt, as you can see here, just to um, basically cradle the wing more gently. And uh, this is a piece of, um, I think it's quarter inch plywood uh, that I used for the actual wing nuts, basically, to hold the wing bolts, which are epoxied into place. This is me cutting out and gluing the nose. And this is the airframe pretty much done at this point. But I also covered the bottom of the fuselage in fiberglass and um, adhered it with uh, polycrylic, Minwax polycrylic, which uh, I find is actually not as strong as epoxy, but it's a little bit lighter and um, still adds quite a bit of strength. And this shows uh, the end of the wing saddle where the receiver is, and behind that are the uh, tail servos mounted in the fuselage here. So the Turnigy SK3 motor that I uh, bought for this plane came with extremely stiff motor wires that were basically chocked full of um, solder and when I tried to bend one of them in particular to fit through the motor mount it broke. I've never actually had a motor wire break off at the base before like this but um, I've never also had to take a motor apart and repair a broken wire, but I, I learned to do this on this plane, and I ended up soldering this motor wire back together successfully uh, without any shorts. The ESC I chose is a Turnigy Plush 40 amp, and I um, epoxied on with a special kind of heat-resistant epoxy, a heat sink, um, and then passed this through the wall of the fuselage so that it could be air-cooled. And lots of painting with in-between sanding, uh, the plane was finished. And this is the uh, top-down view, and this is the underside view. I always put black stripes on the underside of the left wing. Uh, that's just my visual cue so I can maintain orientation. The flight footage you guys are about to see is actually uh, a combination of flights three through five. Um, sadly, I had a a uh, couple of files corrupted on my GoPro, and I actually lost uh, the maiden flight, which I did with my dad, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but I think you'll still get to see that the um, plane flies pretty well. Okay, let's do this. Fast. Fast takeoff. Hey, that was all right.
one third throttle. It moves. Seems it'll fly inverted. Oh yeah, no problem. Excellent. Stall test. Yeah, it's fairly stall resistant for a heavy plane. Okay, I'm gonna try the new Zippy 2.0 on 4S. I'm using a tiny 1300 milliamp battery just about as far forward as I can get it and I hope the CG is going to be okay this is just a piece of insurance tape this hatch is magnetic Ooh, CG looks okay all right let's try it fast pass yeah that's pretty quick Oh, that was fine. 